Well, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, Spider-Man, well, a commentary track for Spider-Man 3, where I talk while the movie is on, because that's what we do on commentary tracks. That's what we do. That's what I do. I shouldn't pretend that this is, like, something that everyone's doing. I changed the volume on my computer, and I was about to apologize for this. you guys hearing the sound, but you guys aren't hearing my computer volume. You're hearing me, and I think this time around I actually have some background music to accompany this commentary, so it's not just dead when I'm not talking or speaking. Uh, this looks a lot like all of the other intros. I wonder if this is actually Spider-Man 3. Oh, it's Spider-Man 3. There's the three. Tobey Maguire! Kirsten Dunst. James Franco. Topher Grace. Never mind. Thomas Hayden Church. The Sandman. There's Topher Grace. Okay, he plays... Not Eddie Brock. He plays Flash Thompson. Spider-Man letting him go. And Bryce Dallas Howard. I looked. I made sure to do some research on this film. I haven't seen this movie since I watched it in theaters when it first came out. And so I did my research. And so I know some things about the pro well. I I would say about the production. I read the wiki page, and it wasn't it wasn't like all encompassing. I'm sure. I mean, I need to put the Blu-ray in and watch Bruce Campbell. Sam Raimi just can't get enough of the the campster, the campster. <laughs> he cannot get enough of Groovy Bruce. I wonder if he's going to be in Multiverse of Madness. Oh, Scott Scott Dick. He wrote this, or I don't. He did the special effects or something, but he replaced his mentor from the previous film or the previous two films, and his name was like Dick Straw or something. Like both of the names have Dick D Y K in it, and I was like, oh, this is odd. It just seemed very, I guess, serendipitous. <laughs> Except not really being serendipitous. Look at all the Venom stuff. Yeah, apparently. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, the word of the day is bloat. <laughs> B-L-O-A-T. Bloat. Because this film, uh, the one, the largest critique uh, among, like, it's a universe. Oh, look, he's going to the MCU. Uh, the largest critique is that this film has a lot of storylines, and it has a lot of bloat, and the screenwriter actually recognized that fact and wanted to split this into two films, but he couldn't figure out... It said on the wiki page he couldn't figure out how to have a satisfying, like, conclusion climax to the first part, but I would assume that... Dis Disney. I would assume Sony was not going to put... Well, I guess they would have. They shall This was the most expensive film ever produced at the time. So I guess if he had come to them and been like, Yo, we need to make this into two films. I'm sure Sony probably would have gone like, Oh, fuck yeah. That's okay. Damn kids. Along came a Spidey. What a man. Look, everyone's everyone loves Spider-Man now. It's like we had nothing to do ever with the whole storyline that everyone hates him. Oh, this is a meme. Hamiltonian. Alexander Hamilton! Look at all these adults in college. Oh my god, it's Bryce Dallas Howard! Oh, she she looked back at him. She He's a stupid professor. He he didn't see the light shining on his face. For now. Oh, he got the hook up. Oh, Toby, Tobias. Every time I see a film with Toby Maguire, I should just call him uh Tobias. Sardies. Hey, I've been there. That's off-Broadway. I think that's the Majestic. I think that's where uh, Phantom of the Opera was playing instead of whatever schlock uh, Mary Jane Watson is playing in. So yeah, Gwen Stacy's in this film. 
Nah, visual gags. They don't care. They don't look like the type to be watching this. Is this an RKO production? This is like, uh, the sound of water. The shape of water. Where it goes black and white and the, the lady lead and the, the swamp monster are dancing. It's like very 1940s. <laughs> that guy's like, fuck you. <laughs> you don't care. Look, he figured out, in between films, he figured out time management. Now he can save the world, or he can save New York, and make it to uh, the 15 shows that she has in a week. So that she will think that he loves her. Because that's, that's Mary Jane Watson's character. She only knows you love her if you go and watch, like, 15... Every single one of her shows. <laughs> Peter's like, oh, she's as beautiful as I saw her 15 times ago. Oh, panning shot. Where are we going? Oh, is it Harry? You're a wizard, Harry. It's, oh, it's box five. It's the Phantom! I thought it was supposed to be vacant. Dude! It's like this whole time. Tobey Maguire has not aged at all. Look, he is the same age as when we saw the first film. James Franco is like an adult now. <laughs> we have watched him age over the years. In like the five years that these films came out. Dude, these films came out at the same amount of time as Mass Effect. I thought she was good. Yeah. Remember 2007? Look, no one's on their cell phones. No one's live tweeting. No one's checking in. Uh, that's the... He's the wrong superhero to ask about that. I've really got to give it to Harry, though. You know, he knows he's Spider-Man, right? So he, like, he's doing all of this. He has so much contempt for him, but at the same time, he's not like, Oh, give me pictures of Tobey Maguire. I mean, Spider-Man. Oh, Harry. Mine's bigger. Yeah, you did. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? See, I'm really just trying to get you guys in the mood. The mid-2000s. When did Complicated come out? I don't know. I miss Avril. Ha! <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> Nerd. Oh, look, we've seen that shot. I, I'm fairly certain that first shot where we saw Spider-Man swinging through the city and that shot right there, I'm fairly certain we've seen those before. Oh, it's the glider. Actually, we saw online there was a, they took a, sh a screenshot from the original comic where the Green Goblin actually gets impaled by his glider, and I think the word they used was crucified. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. There's a lot. There's I guess just outside of Zack Snyder, there is just a lot of uh, Christian imagery in comic books. Wow. Dude, if anyone walks up, they're gonna be like, what the shit? I mean, I guess you could explain this one away. They're like Spider-Man, Spider-Fans, and just like, we just enjoyed hanging out on this web we built. Ha! <laughs> You've got 20 years tops. Oh. This is before OnlyFans. Oh, here we go. Oh, He looks like a boy! <laughs> he does! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, she's so superficial. Oh, that's some CG! Oh, it's Men in Black 2! Darn it, I should have looked up the Venom backstory from the comics, or the origin story. 
Because they make Venom evil in this, but Venom I don't, largely is not evil. He's an anti-villain or an anti-hero. Okay, now this is what you call a plot contrivance. It's not necessarily a plot hole, but it is a contrivance. It is something that... Oh, well, it's good that the script had that happen. Like, the only reason that Spider-Man gets the symbiote is because he just happened to have his bike there in the middle of the woods and the meteor happened to land right next to it. Oh, imagine if it was like Red Sun Batman... Or spider Red Sun Superman, the comic where he ends up landing in Russia instead of Kansas. <laughs> You've just got Venom running around in uh, Calcutta or something. Oh God! Uh, he trained for like a year and lost like 10 pounds of fat and gained like 20 pounds of muscle for this role. Probably just for that scene, because everything is CG. <laughs> that was like probably the only practical stunt he had. Oh, Bryce Dallas Howard, she does some stunts. She didn't know she was pregnant. She was early enough in her pregnancy, she didn't know it yet, and she was doing her own stunts in this. And then she went on to play a character in Jurassic World, and all of that was in front of a green screen, and she didn't have to do anything. Yeah, we gotta make the, the, uh, the villain. Penny Marco. Penny. I was stealing. Aw, that thing means she's sick. Oh, look, it's Sandman. Sandman! <clears throat> Apparently, one of the critiques from the studio was that Sam Raimi kept using the villains from the comics that he, he personally liked. And I was going down the list, I'm like, Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, aren't those the villains that everyone knows? <laughs> They wanted him to put, like, Vulture in this, and I'm like, how, how, how can you say that Sam Raimi's using characters that not a lot of people like, that only he likes, but he's using all of the characters that everyone knows, except for Vulture, because no one knew Vulture before Homecoming. Spider-Man fans knew Doc Ock and Green Goblin. <laughs> and Venom, I guess? Blah, 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 the baby. I'm together with your plan. Save me. I've got to be a criminal. What's the significance of that? I'll get the money. And the child's fine with it. She's like, don't steal, Daddy. To be fair, if my life were on the line, I'd, I'd be like, steal the fuck out of that money, Dad. <laughs> She's like, bitch. <laughs> she ain't buying that. Don't worry, I'm fairly certain that Peter is going to graduate from that motorized bicycle by at some point in this film. Oh. Peter! Oh. Oh. I don't know if that's what kids do these days. Or his daughter? Is that supposed to be a parallel with the scene we just saw with Sandman? 
She doesn't know he's Spider-Man. And you said no. Ugh. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was going to be like he buried it in a box under the ocean. He's like, let's go treasure hunting. So she wears her engagement ring all the time and not her wedding ring? Maybe they used the same one. If he hadn't died, he'd been shot. Don't worry, that's going to come back up at some point. <laughs> They're not just bringing it up just to bring it up. I don't think Mary Jane Watson in this series is the kind of woman who would want old person jewelry. Like, she'd want, like, she'd want it to be decked out to the nines and diamonds. <laughs> like, diamond encrusted all the way around. If you don't want to see me for 15 shows, I don't want this ring on it. Oh, check it out! Oh, that's some CG. Oh, this is some CG. Like, the CG from the previous films were not awful, but, like, this whole scene is just CG. And it's very noticeable. I guess that shot wasn't bad. <laughs> it, looks, it looks so serious! Oh, this is very odd. Oh, that was a very... Oh my god, that's an awful... He's like a video game character. Look at him! You, you're waited this long to tell him that? This came out of the blue! What was Harry doing? Was he just hanging out with Peter? Just like pretending to be his friend just to bide his time while he fixed up his own serum? Like, all his antagonism just came out of nowhere. Oh, uh, well, you know what? The word of the day is bloat. Too many storylines, you don't have time to accurately, like, construct them. I didn't want to waste it. It's frankly, it's too early. Oh no. It's too early in the sh movie. So we're going to wait. I've got something to do with New Goblin, but we're going to wait on that. This is going to become an interactive commentary very I don't want to say quick, but <laughs> It was like, "Fuck this. You're not my writer." Oh, the, the CGI, man. It really does make you appreciate, like, the MCU films. I mean, I know they're formulaic, but they look... They look gorgeous. Most of the time. Yeah, let's... Oh, it's... Oh, it's uh, Star Wars, Episode 1. Yo, he went from, like, wakeboard mode to surfboard mode. Look at him go. Oh, look, he called him Peter instead of Pete. That, that means he no longer has a term of endearment for him. <laughs> New Goblet's got everything. 
It's got a katana, a sweet surfboard. And he's still got daddy's grenades. Oh, but no, it's so upgraded. Now he's got batterings. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Congratulations. You played yourself. Oh my god, the CG, man. I wish, I wish I could go back and watch this for the first time again in 2007, because this probably looked freaking amazing at the time. <laughs> That's a very Sam Raimi <laughs> gag. I think that's why Sam Raimi is so good at directing Spider-Man films, especially because Spider-Man, he, he can be serious, but so much of it is very, very goofy, kind of. Oh god, <laughs> tear his chest open. Look, he smiled! Tobias, look, why are you smiling? Look, he had like an evil grin on his face. It's like the second movie in the burning apartment building. Tobias, come on now. Okay, so while Harry is dying on the medical table, uh, Felicia Hardy, uh, Black Cat, was supposed to make an appearance in this film, or in Spider-Man 4. There was something to do. Anne Hathaway was supposed to play Felicia Hardy, but that didn't happen. And so, she went on in 2012 in Batman... The Batman Rises? The Dark Knight Rises. She... Uh, Anne Hathaway played Catwoman. Or... Was it Batwoman? Catwoman? She played Catwoman. She played the DC version of Black Cat. So Anne Hathaway was, like, all over the place. As far as the same comic book characters. Because Marvel stole Catwoman to make Black Cat, and then in the film universe, DC stole Anne Hathaway from Black Cat to play Bat Cat Woman. If any of that makes sense. He went into the nuclear reactor that's about to turn him into a villain. I don't know why, I was busy talking and I, I thought the dog like jumped over the fence, and now I want like a Sandman dog. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck is this place? I need to know. Of what? What are they demolecularizing? Run, you dumbass! Are they demolecularizing sand just for the hell of it? <laughs> like, what's the point of this? Yeah, you waited too long, moron. I told you to run. I would say, oh, well, then we wouldn't have a Sandman story in this film. But this film could go without a, su a supervillain or two. <laughs> oh, no, he's getting demolecularized. Uh-oh. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of, uh... Who's the guy who plays Thanos? I can't even think of his name. But I can find out. I'm gonna sit here racking my brains over it. Uh, Thanos actor. Josh Brolin. Yeah, he looks a lot like Josh Brolin. He's got, like, the square face. <clears throat> He's got the mochaccina face and the big broad shoulders. Let's put a dead animal on him. Let's put some Sandman on him. <laughs> I 
Oh, he, he's definitely... Sam Raimi called him in as an extra. He's definitely a friend of Sam Raimi. I don't know who that is, but that's definitely someone Sam Raimi knows. I want him to rest. Oh, this... here's Here comes the wholesome meme from Pizza Posting. Harry... Harry! <laughs> what all do you remember? Nothing. Score! Lucky well, nose! <laughs> yeah, you did. Who hit and run, though? Spider-Man. Choice. Did he? Did oh my god! What if his amnesia went back and he thought he thought that they were still together? An amnesiac love triangle. And yet I've aged. <laughs> I've aged years. <laughs> It's like boyhood. James Franco has just grown up in, all in front of our eyes in these movies. That's probably just an extra. She. That was a weird way <laughs> that. That as in the actor. An extra as opposed to being Sam Raimi's friend. Oh, that is some bad CG. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> and I mean, that would... Well, I don't know. I was going to say, that would be an easy shot just to do practically, but maybe not. Like, I would love to see, like... The people, the studios who do graphic graphic design, who do uh, special effects these days, I would like to see them go back and like retool some of these old CG scenes. Cause like when you watch Thanos in Infinity War, not so much in Endgame, but Infinity War, like he looks like a flesh and blood blood person. You can't even tell that he's CG. And here you've got this. <laughs> it looks like the the water blob from the Mummy. Ugh. Okay, so we said the word of the day was bloat, uh, and inefficiency, I guess. Uh, the whole point of Sandman being the, the way he is, because in the comics, Sandman's just a, no -no a do nothing character, he's just like a common bad guy. But they made him, they were all, like, hyped to make him, like, a likable character. Or, like, a villain that you felt bad for. But they don't even have the time to, like, fully ingratiate him to the audience in terms of, like, oh, this is a character you should care for. Like, we don't even care, well, we can't tell what he's feeling, because frickin' <laughs> this is a CG. But, like, we had one scene where it was like, oh, it's his daughter. Oh, he can't, no... Be good. You got it that time. Blah, 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 the baby. I've seen that actor before. That was like a younger image. Let me, let me see if I can't figure out. I've definitely seen that before. That. I keep saying that. <laughs> I've seen them before. Here, Spider-Man. I'm not missing anything. I've seen cartoons and video games before. Doo-doo-doo-doo! 
Look, he's figuring out everything on his own. Look at him go. Alvin Sargent. That was the the screenwriter. Or one of the screenwriters. It was Sam and Ivan Ramey and then Alan, Alvin Sargent. He was the one who was like, uh, this, is, this film is not working. Let's do two films, but we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh no. <laughs> See, you shouldn't have him in the first row. You should have him in the back row. Oh god. His name is on the frickin' movie poster, Mim J. <laughs> it's Spider Man 3. Oh god. She's so obnoxious, this one. Oh god. Girl, you gotta get over the dad issues. Well, I guess I can't go and save people. No. Uh, feel the room, bro. MJ, you, you gotta grow up, girl. He's <laughs> a... Freaking superhero. One is the lonely. Oh no! Did it just know? Remember this thing? Boy, it's a good thing it didn't attach itself to his suit last night. Is the symbiote just hanging, chilling? Oh no! Dude, this is like the the uh, the Ferris wheel like Catwoman. Just everything is going wrong all at once. What the <laughs> What does that mean? What is I've got a secret, it's my copier. What the fuck does that even mean? I hear Bryce Dallas Howard uh, pregnant about to uh, do some crazy shenanigans. Oh, the CG. Oh. It just... Oh, it just does not age well. Speaking of Catwoman. Yeah, this is like Catwoman. I think I finished the... I'm pretty sure I finished the thought, but just in case. It's like the Ferris wheel from Catwoman that everything breaks down all at once. Also, there's absolutely no build-up. To Gwen Stacy being a nerd girl, but also a model? What? Oh, oh, the CG. <laughs> There's uh, Dallas <laughs> Bryce Howard, pregnant. Bryce Dallas Howard. Look, that's Eddie Brock! That's like, is this the first time we're seeing him in this movie? We're 30 minutes in, he's kind of a villain. Oh, that's Topher Grace <laughs> from that 70s show. That's where I recognize him from. We are 34 minutes in and we're just now meeting Eddie Brock. Ladies and gentlemen, the word of the day is bloat. There's a reason why a three-act structure exists. 
it's not because everything has to be cookie cutter in the exact same film every single time, but darn it, it it works. Oh look, it's the death of Gwen Stacy that they're doing, but there's no build up to it. Of course she's not gonna die here. Subtitle. The subtitle for Gwen yelling daddy came out on the same frame that Eddie was talking, and so she was still looking at him, and I thought for sure she was gonna call him daddy. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I thought she was gonna call Eddie Brock daddy. Oh my god, I love subtitles sometimes. Doc Ock's still at large. What? The Daily Planet? Hey, Miss Brandt. Look at all his pills. Oh, God. It's wow, and how? That doesn't mean anything. I think we're supposed to be laughing. <laughs> okay, that one was funny. They finally got me! I don't like calm and high, low, lower blood pressure J.K. Simmons. Ew. Ooh, that smell! Oh, snap! Casual workplace misogyny. Can't you smell that smell on? <laughs> he likes my shirt. Was that surprise or admiration or? Wait, 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 so before he saved Gwen Stacy's life, he set up cameras? Eddie Brock wants more than a stogie in his mouth. Who is that guy? That guy's like closet in Peter's corner and I don't know why. That's a football reference. Well, Peter, you win. <laughs> Peter, Peter's gonna win so damn fast. Where are you going? Just go in an alleyway and somewhere and get it. Key to the city. <laughs> He's like, oh. Oh. 
Oh, Stan. Rest in peace. Look, we've seen this shot like eight times in three films. This is Manservant. Bernard? He was not in the second movie, Bernard. No, it should be a football! He kept that from Aunt May when she moved out? Oh, yeah, the cheerleaders. How on earth, how is Aerie supporting all of this? That's what I want to know. That's what I asked in the last movie. Because <clears throat> it seemed like from the first movie, it seemed like his the Norman was going to lose everything because he was knocked off the board of directors. But he didn't lose everything. He's he's his son's doing very well for himself like five years after the fact. Did he? There's a lot of nothing going on in New York freaking city right now. Oh, stick him! Stick him! Stick him! Referenced! How did he do that? He wasn't wearing his suit. How did that happen? He did not eat no gum gum fruit. Oh, the understudy got the part, huh? I mean, she does sing better. It's an unfair comparison because I was talking when Mary Jane was singing, so I really don't know. Awkward! U.S. agent. Oh, honey. One day I'll fly away. From the top, literally, go up to the top of the stairs, woman. Oh my god, she is <laughs> this this character. Oh my god, they made her so obnoxious. Like somehow she was not at all like Mary Jane Watson in the first film. In the first film, she was all she was Gwen Stacy. Then in the second film, they made her more like Mary Jane Watson. And now in this film, they're making her Gwen Stacy again. Although I don't even think Gwen Stacy in the comics was this full of herself. Look, everyone loves Spider-Man. It's almost like the time that he thought everyone hated him was just J. Jonah Jameson. T oh, T Tobias. Okay, we're 45 minutes into the movie. For a movie that has so much bloat, there is so much... Like, for a movie that has so much storylines to it, good lord, there's so much, like... There's so much junk in it. <laughs> Like, they could have done things so differently, and like... We're 45 minutes in, they could have done so much more with that 45 minutes, you know? Spidey the Mighty. Is there a Spider-Woman? Oh, duh. I wish there was. They, they need to get on that, you know, Marvel Studio, or I guess Sony. I need some Jane Carpenter. I need some Arachne. I need some Ghost Spider that's not animated. Spider-Man, you should be supportive of me 100% of the time. And I should not be supportive of you, like, 20%. Oh, 
Okay, that's profiling. They're stopping every single person they recognize who escaped from prison. That ain't cool. That is against the law. It is wrong. Oh, look, Manhattan, sand and stone. Did he just know that was there? Okay, that's full of sand. This is... Oh, I thought he was going to open the doors. I'm like... You are you're going to flood Lower Manhattan, my man. Don't they need, like, a warrant or something? You can't just do that, can you? If you're a cop? Yeah, if that shit was happening, I'd be like, fuck that. I'd be getting off. I'd be getting off of there. I would not be getting off. Oh, somebody's gonna kill him! What was he trying to do? Impale him? Sand man! Oh, yeah, like you haven't seen a supervillain before. How does that hurt him? Or even annoy him? Oh, that is- oh, that is some bad sound mixing! Oh god, no! Oh, the sound mixing was awful! Oh my god. I told you one day I'll fly... Oh. Look at the kids over in the Boy Scout uniform just having a ball. They're just having fun. Right, he's a photographer. That's what they do. Oh, is that flirting? <laughs> oh, bro. I didn't see Peter Parker riding her a play. It's not Spider-Man if he's having to deal with Mary Jane. Now he's full of himself! Can he swing? Okay, so now this song is commercialized. This song started with Kurt Cobain in the subway somewhere, some random ass dude. And then some Asian lady on a violin was playing it. And now all of a sudden it's like... I am more I am more intrigued with the progression of this song's existence in this trilogy than anything else. Why did they explore that? Kiss him, kiss him. Oh, look, it's the, they're doing the thing. Okay, I, I am, I've been giving Mary Jane a, a rough time. She's totally in the right with this one. <laughs> I was very much anti-Mary Jane. Now I'm very, okay, she has a, she has a right to be pissed off now. <laughs> Peter's being a jerk off. Wee! Sand man! I promise you that'll stop. At some point, not anytime soon. Oh no! It's a dust cloud coming for our money! So yeah, so far the the problem the pro this movie is bloated to hell. But at the same time, 
they could have done a lot they could have been a lot more efficient with the script But you also have a studio that's wanting, you know, A, B, C, and D done. Well, I, that's probably why he's a criminal, because he sure ain't an actor. <laughs> Boing! Yeah, boy! Look, he learned that from Harry's glider. There you go. <laughs> Spider-Man's like, for God's sake, save the money! <laughs> but fuck the money, the money's not in any danger. <laughs> yeah, you ran out of time. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that shot was not, ugh. Some of the CG shots, man. Did we just lose? Da -da. Ugh. Get it? It's a meta commentary on supervillains in general. Wait, that was an odd that was an awkward cut. I don't know if you guys are watching I don't really know which version of the film I'm watching, but hopefully it's the same whether or not it's the director's cut or what, but that was an odd cut. <laughs> Spidey scores Nothing about Sandman? I'm together with y'all plan. Now I'm all excited for Mary Jane to give uh, Peter what for. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bruce. No. I love... <laughs> I love Bruce Campbell. Dude, he is moving up in the world! He's going to be the mayor in Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, or Can't Go Home. Pekar. <laughs> the face! <laughs> I love him so much. Dude! Peter, are you an idiot? You just made out with the frickin' commissioner's daughter, and you're going to ask her to marry you. Feel the room, bro. Even you're not that stupid, are you? That's a stereotype? I, I love... Is it the Spider-Man theme song? I love how Mary, how, uh, how Aunt May specifically told him to make this a night that she'll never forget. And so the first thing Peter does is he, oh, let, let's do all the cliche things. Let's make it not memorable whatsoever. En chance. I love Groovy Bruce. En chance. Did you see me on the cover of the Daily Bugle? Making out with uh, Gwen Stacy? Oh, hello. Yeah, beat his ass. Come on, I, I want her to be the comic book MJ for once and just like beat him up. Be like, fuck you. Well, she's off Broadway. Well, she's not even. She's not even off Broadway. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> He's so full of himself. Oh, so he is from Queens in this, okay. Uh oh. Groovy Bruce! Dude, Groovy Bruce, he is dedicated, man. Why is she grabbing him? I'm something of a scientist myself. Did they really just reference that? I love it. Oh god. This is also what you call a- Oh, this is also what you call a plot contrivance. She just happened to be there with her family. What a coincidence. Kirby <laughs> Bruce, I love him so much. Is it because she's a model? Oh, I guess in this, I guess in this film, she's not all that bright. In the comics, uh, Gwen is not. Is she a genius or she's not dumb? Like she's not model girl dumb. Yeah, she's a scientist. Yeah. She also gave him a kiss, girl. Get, get him. Get him. Okay, now Bruce needs to feel the room. <laughs> They're not even at the table, dude. Although you you probably should get the ring back, yeah. I guess this is supposed to be humor humorous? Or the fork I don't know. It's an odd it's an odd tone to be set. Like the whole Bruce Campbell stuff, that was a bit odd considering the gravity of the scene. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Yeah, no, I'm on team Mary Jane now. Screw Peter, he's being a dick. We are officially an hour into the film, and there's, like, we've progressed so much, but, like, not all that much. You know what I mean? Okay, so what was the point of having them come in? Just to ruin their day? I mean, I know it's a movie and that we've got to get the plot going. But, like, why in the hell would George Stacy call them in? Like, finish your investigation first, bro. Apprehend him.
Yeah, I guarantee you when they were writing the script when they were writing the script for the first movie, this was not this is all um I don't want to say a backdraft, but a retcon, I guess. I thought he was a, just a petty criminal stealing money. He's not a murderer. You've been told about it right now. Well, it's difficult. Considering the whole point of Sandman was for us to, like, empathize with a villain, for some odd reason, they really went and made him, like, un unempatheticable. Wait, is this another plot point to explore Peter Parker just suddenly having an untrusting view of the police? Oh, they can't even get the directions right. Get Mr. Ditkovitz over here to fix the door, man. Spider-Man doesn't kill anybody. He just kills people who <laughs> murdered his grandfather. Or uncle. Sorry, 5957. Five, <laughs> He's so vacant! Look at his expression! He's fantastic. That's a fantastic emoting. He's like not even in the room. Dude, this is a per an amazing balancing act. Like it started out MJ was the bitch and now in between the two of them and now Peter's the bitch. We're just going back and forth. What is he waiting on? Someone to say, oh, we found a man made of sand. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. This movie's been pretty boring up until this point. <laughs> If I'm being honest, they 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 should have done so much. They should have done things so much differently. I kind of want to do a rewrite, like of this movie. Like they're setting up so much, but it's nothing that's interesting. And they could have been setting up stuff that is interesting. So what was the symbiote just doing? It was just chilling out, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, sexy suit. That was kind of a... <laughs> that, was, that was some odd imagery. <laughs> Still some odd imagery. Black Spidey. So is the symbiote just in his suit, or is it inside of Peter and is the suit?
I have questions. We, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't know if Peter's going to be using responsibility, though. Apparently, the director of cinematography had a very difficult time with this film because there was a lot of dark suits and dark environments. This is something else. What is it? This is something else. We don't even know what it does. It makes him feel good. That's all we know. It does nothing else but change the color of a suit. What the fuck does that even mean? How does he ever- how does he even figure that out? <laughs> what the fuck? And I don't know, it sounds like you're just making shit up. Oh look, another plot contrivance! He just happened to walk in when they were talking about sandstorms. Where's the symbiote? Okay, so the symbiote is just the suit. It's not in him. It's not like Eddie Brock where he's like, Venom is Eddie Brock and vice versa. So it's just the suit. Da -da 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 -da. Dude, Sandman would have gotten away with it if it just wasn't for his his sand dick whipping around. Who won the competition? See ya, chump! Okay, so the best thing about this film is, uh... Emo Peter Parker, which we haven't seen yet, but that was the first inclinations of it. Why wasn't he just using his digital camera? Did he think he was too good? I was like, ugh. Digital cameras, man. Ugh. I kick it old school, bruh. Is Eddie, like, a hipster? I do remember in the PS4 game, there was a sewer level, and I remember it being very entertaining. Why did he shoot him? Oh, it's like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> How you think Lamar didn't matter? Uncle Ben did matter! Oh, that's right, he's a supervillain. I remember now. He so reminds me of Josh Brolin. Oh, this is like Black Panther. Like when they're fighting on the train tracks underneath Wakanda. Uh-oh. That's not going to be good on the sand. Now he's smiling. I like how he was, how his onus was like, he killed the first guy in cold blood, and now he's killing him like a villain. <laughs> like, in a comical sense. Like, as far as Spider-Man knows, he's killing him in cold blood right now, but he's just drowning him. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, thank God. Here we go. Oh, here's the best part of the... Oh, here we go! <laughs> when I was a young boy... <laughs> my uncle took me into the city. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, they referenced what I said that they needed to fix. I noticed that, oh. All Peter needed was Ursula. He's an emo boy. He's a good boy, you keep pestering him about the rent. Oh, <laughs> he's going on lockdown. He's gonna experiment. <laughs> What's Peter doing in that room of his with the door locked? What's happening to me? I'm becoming punk. Yeah, keep it on. It's sexier that way. <laughs> it's like a bad trip. I'm just gonna, yeah. You found him dead, and I did it. What a coincidence! He says with a smile on his face. Yeah, they said that about Batman. Now look where we are. Aunt May, you really just need to expand your horizons and realize that not every iteration of a character that you've grown to love is not going to be one that you 100% agree with. And here's Peter Parker. It's like a symbiote, really. Yeah, a symbiote. <laughs> or a poison! I think that's what, in, in the Venom movie, I think that's what Eddie Brock said. He was like, you're a poison, and then, like, Venom, like, threw him against the wall. Was she supposed to meet Peter at the jazz room? Georgia Rock. Oh no! She's giving up on Broadway. Outcast! Look, Outcast! My gamma don't guess around because you love the story but you don't know how. <laughs> In the five years we've we've gone from Macy Gray to Outcast. <laughs> That is an old phone. Look, he's an Earl of the Big Artiste. I'm I'm in the eighty fourth penthouse floor. But you knew that. Okay, so... <laughs> Bernard. He's so difficult for a manservant. Okay, so whenever New Goblin shows back up, uh, I was at the store the other day, and they have... We have in Texas a Best Made. It's a brand name that makes pickles. And uh, I was just casually walking by, and uh, there was some pickle beer that exists. 
So it was a green can and I knew I was gonna watch this. So I was like, you know what the crap? We're just gonna taste the pickle beer <laughs> because it's green and there's a green goblin. So that's the interactive commentary at some point. We're gonna be tasting some weird ass beer <laughs> at some point. And it's probably gonna be awful. And... I wish he would call Ursula. Look! Look at her! She's adorbs! Yeah, she's not home right now. <laughs> We can't get enough of that building. Is that an actual New York building or is it just like CGI and they just keep reusing it because they didn't want to spend money? Oh, here's more memes. I thought Bernard was supposed to be getting the food ready. What is this shit? You should fire that man. Clearly he ain't doing his job. Everybody do the twist! Are you guys twisting? Yeah! Remember having fun with people? Look at James Franco. He's just a goofball. Oh, he twisting hard! Oh, not the butter. I'm still annoyed that Bernard didn't do his job. No wonder he was so freaking difficult. Yeah, I don't have time for omelets. I just make scrambled eggs with what- oh. Ah! I thought he had good reflexes, he had the stick -em hands! Intense? How do you mean? It's the serum. Oh, I guess it's the serum. That's why he had stick'em hands. But why would a serum give his body stick'em? Oh, okay, well... I can't be upset anymore about Peter making out with Gwen because they're both doing this. And she can't even blame that on Spider-Man. Peter could have said, oh, I didn't kiss her. Spider-Man kissed her. At least she feels bad about it. <laughs> Peter was like, bring the camera! Hey, she initiated it. You're good. Oh, well, not anymore. He's, he's, he's drowning himself in Maker's Mark. Where did this come from? The taste from Mary Jane's lips? That was the trigger? Why all of a sudden? Everything about Harry is all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Oh, God, we're getting closer to the pickle beer now. Oh, no! Like the Sam Raimi. Every time the camera zooms in and swerves to a Dutch angle, that's Sam Raimi. Harry. They just cannot get enough of Willem Dafoe, which to be fair, I also cannot get enough of Willem Dafoe. <laughs> I was right about her.
It's basically the same mission statement from the first movie. Really. Attack his heart! Okay, so we, we're very dangerously close to Emo Parker. The next best scenes that I'm excited for is the alleyway uh, Venom Sandman team up scene. That was done like at the ninth hour or the tenth hour. Eleventh hour, whatever hour. The last hour. Oh! Oh! Oh, hang on! Wait, is this, is he, is he, no, no, we'll wait until the next, well, he's seeing it's coming out. Oh, sh I gotta get up, man. I gotta go get some drink. I thought we were supposed to be dancing. This is like the climax of the film. Stupid door! Why didn't Peter help her? The bo oh my god. He's so mean to her. She's perfect for him. I couldn't really tell, but she was, like, scared when she called. I, uh, she's adorable. Oh, wait, she's an actress. <laughs> she's not... Um, I'm on my way. Hang on. Oh wait. I'm so oh, I'm so it's so intense. There she is. He remembered to go get flowers. Did he set up cameras? He only does that when he's trying to save people from falling eighty-seven stories. Peonies. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tobias is so dorky. Attack his heart! Okay, so we established that she's not a good actress, right? But Toby is also a bad actor right here. Look at him, he's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. So is Mary Jane supposed to be a bad actress in reality? And like, this is her, she's like acting so well now because this is herself talking and she's like, I'm lonely. Toby Maguire's not doing that good of acting himself though. It was just a mess of, like, acting weirdness. Like, Mary Jane's not supposed to be a good actress, but at the same time, she's a good actress. Because she's making, she's saying her own feelings. So it's not acting, but it is. Here's more memes. Attack his heart. No, literally, take that knife and stick it in his heart. And then you made an ass of yourself when you were at dinner. Oh, the other guys! No, Pete always loved her. 
Look, he's got the Willem Dafoe crazy eye. I guess it's more of a Forrest Whitaker thing. He's got Forrest Whitaker eye. Peter, I've aged so much, and you haven't aged a day. I can't wait for you. Look at that grin. <laughs> I love it. I've used that GIF so many times that I completely forgot that it was from Spider-Man 3. <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaking good. I love it so much. Oh my god. Okay, so I said that the first hour of this movie was kind of eh and not interesting. Okay, the, the, the halfway point is when it, it starts getting good. <laughs> Maybe not in the the, the action-y way, but certainly in the comedic way. <sighs> I love it so much. Like, it, this movie was getting heavy. Like, with some of the personal stuff going on in my life, it was getting a bit heavy. And then all of a sudden, I'm having a, a raucous joy of an occasion with this, and I love it. Look, it's Evo Peter! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, that is... Oh, that's a GoldenEye reference. Oh, Spider-Man can bleed. What is with the music? It's like easy jazz music. And it's a tense fight going on. What the hell? Not the maker's mark! I freaking wish. Why can't we have an emo Spider Man like full time? There's a million Spider Men, Spider Women, Spider Boys, Girls in the Spider Verse. Ooh! Oh my god, I love it so much! Did they know when Sam Raimi was directed to this? Did he honestly realize how kooky this is? I love it. Did he realize how amazingly hilarious and funny and quirky and goofy it is? I hope so. Sam Raimi is a very kooky act uh, actor, very kooky director to begin with. So I guess this is kind of in his wheelhouse. But like, I'm assuming the director heads at like w WB, at Sony... <laughs> Some of the sound mixing in this film is like... He wanted me to be his son. gonna cry. <laughs> I fucking love it. I love this so much. Gonna cry. Look at little Goblin Jr. To be fair, if I were Spider-Man, I'd be doing shit like that all the time. I'd be fucking up assholes. <laughs> Oh, all of a sudden, now he's emo, and all of a sudden, ooh. I don't know if older women were into emo boys <laughs> in the mid-2000s.
I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> Wait, Sandman? JJ Watt? Uh oh. He said he was gonna put some dirt in your eye, <laughs> whatever that means. What was he giving himself some touch some liquid confidence in the form of touching? Look at little Brock Jr. Gonna cry? Breaking glass. See, Peter's not in the wrong here. He's he's counterfeiting photographs. Eddie Brock's a jerk face. Say what you will about J. Jonah Jameson. The man has integrity. I find that hard to believe. Oh, and they passed the bug on the front page. What does Ursula care? She's like, who is that? Is he waiting for MJ, or I don't even know what he's doing there. Well, now he's being a jerk face to Ursula. That's not cool. Yeah, yeah! here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reaction I'd more expect. Yeah! <laughs> Boy! Yeah! Oh god. Miss Brant. He wants her in a different position. Oh! Oh, get him. Don't get her, though. She's not into it. Things are looking up. <laughs> what are your shoes doing on that desk? Oh. 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 I thought he was going to have him dance. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, it's it's when he comes out. Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Here we go. Watch. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, my God. It's the Joker dance when he's going down the stairs. Oh, my God. I love it. Yeah, the second half of this movie's dope. <laughs> they could have changed so much with the first half, but damn it, the second half might be worth it. This is great. No, oh, it took him long enough. Sandman! I'm together with your plan! Okay, so like, I understand there's like so much that goes into the climax of this film. 
and I'm looking at the time left, and we've got like 30 minutes. And I know there's so much movie left that has to be compact in that amount of time. I'm legitimately like frightened that I'm going to get whiplash because everything's going to start happening at once. Spider-Man, Peter still has to get the symbiote off of him. The symbiote has to find Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock has to turn evil. Eddie Brock has to meet with the Sandman and join him. There has to be a... There's so much shit that has to go down in like the, the next half hour. I'm going to die. Oh, MJ works here. Oh! Oh, he's gonna get something else. Did she break up with Eddie? I was talking. She might have mentioned it. Oh. Ew. Even she was like, that was weird. Is that shade? Is it shade? Oh, I'm not gonna even, even make that joke. <laughs> and look, it's Willem Dafoe! Look behind him! It's child Willem Dafoe! Look at him! What the hell? What's he doing here? He's like Willem Dafoe as a boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she is a, a waitress singer. Is he gonna go sit front row? She always wanted him in the first row. Jingle bitch screwed me over. Go to hell, jingle whore. Yeah, boy! Okay, so on what plant? Peter doesn't play piano. On what freaking planet did the symbiote learn to play piano? That's what I wanna learn. Oh shit, here we go. Yeah, boy! You just know Toby Maguire was having a ball. Dancing with the chair? Oh. This ain't that kind of club, sir. Oh! <laughs> look, the wind! Oh, get out of GTFO. <laughs> yes! I love it so much. <laughs> Bryce Dallas Howard, a few months pregnant, doing her own stunts right here, being next to this hot thing known as Tobias Maguire. I'm, I'm fairly certain, I almost guarantee that at some point in this commentary I've referred to her as Dallas Bryce Howard. Instead of Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to get to her. Gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> Little Stacy Jr. All, all the symbiote's doing is amplifying his emo-ness. What is he doing when he does that? Is that his way of visually explaining to the audience that he's he knows what's going on? That's him drawing the power from the symbiote? Oh! Is that Chris Cornell? One of those two people Sam Raimi knows. Oh! It's gone too far. Steve Wilkos would be having a fit right now. Well, maybe not, because that's Spider-Man, and you just do a man. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, backing off. Get off my stage! You know what? You can stay on my stage. Uh-oh. She can see the darkness on his soul! Like, I look like a CW actor. 
Or he looks like every CW male actor. Okay, so the we know that the bell sound is the symbiote's weakness, but how is Peter how does Peter put two and two together? Like he just had the idea right now? Oh, this is like Daredevil. I guess he just decided to hang out at the at a church steeple? Oh, the imagery. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> I tried to wrap my way into the head editor's office. Did he, wait, wait, he said sir. I thought he was talking to a priest. He's talking to God. He called God sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. He self-flagellates. Thank you, sir. May I have another? It's not self-flagellation. It's just flagellation. Oh. That's why. Oh, it's another plot contrivance! Peter just happens to do this in the one place in the city that it's going to work. Look. that Look. If he had gone to any other tower, that shit would not have happened. It's a plot contrivance, my boy. It didn't have to be. All they had to do was have the professor explain it to him. It doesn't seem to like high sonic voices or sounds. It doesn't like vibrations. But Peter just knew to go up there and do this. What's happening now? Uh oh Wait, so any one of those blobs could be a different symbiote? Or do they all have to come together to create venom? The sound mixing is weird. Like, Topher Grace sounded so far away, but then we went far away up to the top of the tower and he sounded the same volume. Kill Peter Parker. Kill John Lennon. Peter Parker Jr. Gonna cry? This is a very odd scene. I mean, I understand the imagery, like he's cleansing himself of the, the stain. Yo, stain, what's up? This, this, this not good script, this less than excellent script, and all it's done is let my life to ruin. Let Aunt May make it all better. I'm busy. And fix the damn door. Did he call him when he was all emo? <laughs> she left me. Uh. 
about that. Bruce Campbell kind of put the kibosh on that? Or he put the kibosh on Bruce Campbell. Did she have her wedding ring on <clears throat> when she gave him that ring? Because it seemed like she gave she only was wearing the engagement ring around. Look at the lighting. He's Spider-Man. That's what he does. Aww. Aunt May. What a sweetheart. Sweet old lady. <laughs> they fast forward to the MCU. <laughs> we got this hot young thing, Marissa Tomei, running around. <laughs> This is the scene from the 11th hour, by the way. Okay, so this is where you need to take a script to either a script doctor or... <clears throat> somebody who can resuscitate it because <laughs> that was awful they had like an hour of content they could have set that up way better but instead it's just one scene where oh here here's all of these loose ends let's just burn them together we don't even have to tie them together just clump them together and get a blowtorch and just fuse them together It was longer, honestly, it was longer than I thought. I thought they literally, I, when the scene early on where it was just their shadows, I thought they, they were going to team up right then. I wasn't really expecting them to actually, like, talk. I guess it's not Whiplash. I thought that they had so much, but they've done so much in one scene. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense. We're very quickly setting up the climax. Is it Harry? It's not Harry, it's Eddie. What? This came out of nowhere. Yo, this is the first movie all over again. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at those blue eyes! Those are digitally enhanced, aren't they? Okay, so the first- the first hour of the movie is very boring and kind of eh, and then like the mid 30 minutes of it is uh, amazeballs and wonderful and like easily one of the best movies ever. And now the last half hour is very clunky. <laughs> Watch out, Venom's gonna pop out of nowhere! Take his heart!
odds. Oh, is it time to get the pickle beer? Oh god. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Is he wearing a glass eye now? You are both dicks to one another. Just reconcile. Kiss and make up! Oh, that's a movie we could watch. At least Toby McGuire's not smiling there. CDs? What are those? Said the Gen Z, the Zoomer. <laughs> writing I didn't know Barnard was also a medical doctor damn I I need to look at the script not not a reproduction of the script that you find online I need to find the actual on paper script where Sam Raimi and everyone had, like, pencil scratches and, like, eraser marks up the suit trying to make sense of this. It's just a, a... The word of the day, I remind you, is bloat. And we've got all of this that was not set up properly, was not explored properly, and now they're having to... Oh! What's going on? Okay, I, I, hang on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be rapping. Oh my, oh my god. I have no idea how this, oh god. I have no idea. I'll take a picture of it and post it on Twitter. Oh god, I've got no idea what I'm getting myself into. But you know what? It makes sense, because none of the people involved in the production of this film knew what they were getting into either. Oh. Oh. Hang on, I gotta take a picture with the movie in the background. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Yeah, American flag, Michael Bay, bitches! Oh, and my camera delayed, so I didn't even get it. Son of a bitch. Yep. What hope? What the fuck? Nothing was in danger. All hope was lost maybe for one woman. Hope hope is lost for Mary Jane Watson. They made it sound like the city was in peril. Okay, it, it's really not Venom. It's more- it's really just Eddie Brock. I mean, really. Venom- Apparently, Sam Raimi really didn't care about Venom. And it makes sense, because there really isn't Venom. <laughs> it's just Eddie Brock. Oh, now he wants to talk it out. HUMILIATION TIME! Uh... I- I offered you your comeuppance? Oh shit. Oh, the city is in peril! But just Mary Jane. Which, I am a- I am a humanitarian. One life lost is too many, but... Oh my god, is this this 70s show? Is he talking about Donna? <laughs> I want to see a, 
a Gwenom movie. Like, just Eddie Brock Venom here is, like, bad CG, but it's also kind of sexy in, like, a feral way. And, like, you put that on Ghost Spider, and it's just, like, max it up to 11. It's like Spinal Tap, but in a good way. Oh, no! Wait, how far is he falling? He was about to hit the ground. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, remember, there's, like, eight villains in this movie. <laughs> They're just gonna pass him back and forth like a baton. Don't jump. Oh. Okay, I guess if she lunged away, I was like, you're not gonna fall faster than that. Yes, I know the law of falling bodies, but... Actually, I don't. I'm not a physicist. It's sand! It's everywhere! Whoa! The Etsy Bitsy Spider. Was this his plan? <clears throat> Was Eddie Brock just like, oh, we're just going to make as much webbing up here as possible? Give him as much of a ticking clock as possible. Look, they're passing him around like a freaking bong. We have the ghost spider, we have the bong spider. <clears throat> I've got the beer right here, I'm waiting to open it until freaking new goblin shows up. Come on, Harry! Oh, this is kinky. Eddie Brock, are you happy with this? Why don't you want to kill him? You're gonna let him have this? Sandman just a two-bit villain. Why aren't you guys running away? Uh. Bitch, please. We know Harry is going to show up. See, I told you. Cheers, mofo. Kablooey. <laughs> hey, they're not cheering Spider-Man's name anymore. They're cheering Harry! Oh god, it smells awful. Oh god! It smells like hops and pickles! Oh no! What am I doing to myself? Oh my god, it's like Winter Soldier! For a second there. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> That's kinky. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I had to talk to my manservant. He had to set me straight. What are the blades going to do to a sand man? A sand man. I was going to say sand monster and also man. Oh, I guess that would work. Oh, I was about to say... I was like, who's this mofo with the hat? I'm starting to see where Marvel, the M I'm starting to see where MCU got the idea of, like, putting in humor. Although I would argue that the tone of this fight is a lot more serious and not needing of humor. At least not to that extent. Oh god, Harry's kicking ass. I gotta take a sip. Oh god. 
Oh, oh, oh god, that's awful. Oh, no. Oh, god. No. <laughs> no! Oh, god. Oh, I'm tasting the third act of this film. It's awful. <laughs> it's, it's such a visceral experience. Oh, god. I'm, I'm watching and hearing awful, and now I'm tasting it. Oh, God. Oh. The aftertaste isn't bad, because it's just pickle juice. But that for, that initial taste is... Oh, God. Yeah. See, she agrees with me. Oh. Kinda. They're having a moment. Yo! Boss! Their whole mission statement for Sandman when they created him was to have this, like, empathetic villain. Uh, yeah, let's empathize with this thing. <laughs> okay. Oh! You know what, I guess it makes sense. You can't actually defeat this guy in Manhattan, the concrete jungle. Where there's not infinite sand. Like, if this was Rio de Janeiro, they'd be fucked. Her name is Sandman and she dances on the cell shit. It's a good thing Peter had a chance encounter with the church bell. Otherwise, he would have no idea how to beat this thing. Like, Venom's not even a symbiote in this movie. He's a suit. He's like, yeah, it does. The moment, the music, the moment you want it, you never, ever let it go. Eminem said you never let it go, Parker. Oh, fuck. I gotta take another drink. Damn it! Harry, stop! Oh, oh, no, that's awful. It's worse the second time. Oh, God. Now stay down, please. Just stay down. Ugh. Wait, he's just... What? No, no, this is some bullshit. So you're telling me the church bell shit was completely random? Oh, you know what? Here. Fuck it. I'm pouring. I'm pouring. He's dead. I'm pouring one out. <laughs> I'm not drinking anymore. I'm just gonna pour it out for him, please. <laughs> I don't want any more. Thank you. Thank you. I can pour this shit out. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Okay. Peter, I was about to say, you got a fucking web. So you're telling me that Peter had no idea what he was doing in that church bell tower. That is some bullshit. That is some bad CGI as well. It was just a complete coincidence. Did they not have sound where Venom came from? Did they- did he live on, like, a muted planet? Yeah. <laughs> if you can- if you couldn't tell, Sam Raimi doesn't give two shits about Venom. <laughs> he clearly has no idea what Venom even is. Sending you back to that 70s show!
Can you tell that Sam Raimi has no interest in the character of Venom? <laughs> he doesn't even know what Venom is. <laughs> Venom's just like a nameless creature. They said in the wiki article that he grew to like, admire, not admire, but like, to know and respect Venom. Look at what became mo morning and like instantly. I didn't literally pour the beer out, but... Yeah, I'm not being recorded on video, so, I mean, the effect... I have a bowl here, I could pour it out, but I'm not going to, because that's just more to... I'll pour it out in my sink for Harry. Fuck you! Kill him. So? Two wrongs don't make a right. So he thought the old man... Was he trying to rob Uncle Ben? Yeah, that that's the face of a man who's got plenty of money. Go home. I work alone. Oh, it was an axe. Oh, he murdered him, but it was axe. It was manslaughter. It wasn't murder. Oh, okay, that he is absolved. Look, it really is New York. Look at those New Yorkers over there. They just witnessed the murder and they don't give two shits. It really is New York. Good, because you manslaughtered a man, so... But you didn't murder anybody. You mur you murked your relationship with the only one. Well, you could get any woman you want as Spider-Man, but Mary Jane is the only one that matters. Well, Ursula matters. Peter didn't. Where have I seen that actress? I couldn't find her on the wiki page, but I've I know for a fact I've seen her places. I would say ah, but he, he murdered a man inadvertently. He was a oh wait, he's gonna come back, MCU boys. No oh god, I can smell the pickle. It's on it's sitting on my desk. I can smell it. Oh no. Oh god, that's awful. Oh no. This is gross. Why did I spend $9.98 on this? <laughs> it was a six pack. I didn't even make it past the one pack. Gonna cry? Make him cry. No, no, no you ain't. He did. <laughs> he did. And all it, all it took was rushed storylines and a bloated script that had no idea where it was going. sad not because harry's dying but because i'm watching james franco fake die i like me some franco oh ugly cry smiling why is he always smiling toby tobias
See, everyone knows but how to cry except for him. Da, da, da. Kirsten Dunst can act. Except when she's trying to, like, not be able to act, but actually act through the fake acting. Charlie! Did the second film... The second film did not end with the funeral. It might. Dr. Otto Octavius, he went at, to the MCU at the end of the second film, so he might die. Commissioner Gordon... I mean, Commissioner Stacy... Is that Al Gore to the left? Flash Thompson! It's Joey Mangalala. Are they still broken up? I mean, we didn't get a Spider Man 4, so I guess we can't resolve that. Shouldn't this be a mid credit sequence? That's not Kirsten singing, is it? That doesn't that is not her. Nah, that is so not her. That's that's over that's dubbed. Should I Google can Kirsten Dunst sing? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Kirsten? Can kids can kidney disease be reversed? Can kids take zinc? Can Kirsten Dunst sing? Wow, it's the top result. What do you type in Ken Kirsten? Yeah, apparently she can. Maybe she's really good and she's just throwing her voice. She's engaged to Jesse Plemons. Where have I heard that name before? Oh, yeah, she was in Small Soldiers! We can watch that! Jesse Plemons? Oh, my God. He he rose above his station. He was he played the lead male guy in... Uh, I'm thinking of ending things. Which... Uh, oh, yeah, it does mention it. I was like, no, it, the Wikipedia article is not going to mention a... Uh... Damn it, what freaking Charlie Kaufman film as like, oh, he's most known for Charlie Kaufman films. Damn, Jesse Plemons, good job. Oh, yeah, he was in The Irishman. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kirsten Dunst, she was in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Another Charlie Kaufman that wasn't directed by him, but it was written by him. Cameron Crowe's tragic comedy Elizabeth Town, which I have not seen. Oh, she's in the FX series Fargo, the film version of which we could watch on here. We could watch so much stuff. Oh, she was in Melancholia, which I have not seen, but it's Lars von Trier, which I would like to watch some of his films other than Antichrist. Dogma. Kirsten Dust was in Star Trek Next Generation? Dark Page. Oh, Season 7. I must not have make, made it there. Oh, I might not have just recognized her. Okay, now what is this? What's with the... This is an alternative rock. Well, I guess it is, but it's like slow rock. I want my hardcore, hard-pumping rock. Come on now. <laughs> All I want to... Oh, oh, hang on. Go back. Spider-Man soundtrack. We gotta figure out who's singing this. Uh, Spider-Man 3 soundtrack. Uh, inspired and inspired by... <laughs> Oh, is this signal fire? Is this snow patrol? I do believe it is. Look! 
They've got Wolf Mother, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, the Killers? Yo! The Flaming Lips? Jet? You can really get a sense, like, with Outcast and Macy Gray, you can really get a sense of, like, where... Like, these films are really, like, cultural time capsules. <laughs> ah! Post-production! Oh, look, spider webs. I love me some Snow Patrol. I approve now. I was like, what is this? I want my, uh, whatever from the previous films. Like, Alien Ant Farm. <laughs> oh, I just, like, half burped. That was a bad idea. Dog Puppet? Oh, I was about to say, where was there even a dog? But I mentioned there being a Sandman dog. I think that was the only dog I remember seeing, though. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! All because of Kurt Cobain in the subway. Gotta love it. What a What an inspiration. Now this is the killers. Damn, I can get down to this. You have to go through quite a bit of movie, but you get to the credits and the soundtrack's bumping. Once again, the Danny, Danny Elfman score really doesn't pop out at me. I've mentioned it before earlier in the series of films. I judge a film's soundtrack by whether or not I notice it during the film at all, and I did not notice it. I noticed the Spider-Man theme, but that was it. Okay, now who's this? This isn't the yeah, yeah, yeahs, is it? I thought they were headed by a woman. No, Karen O is the drummer, right? No, she's the lead vocalist for yeah, yeah, yes. Well, then what is this? Say one of the songs, that's the title. I don't know what this is. I'm trying to listen. Here it is. Yeah, I've got no idea. <laughs> it was the end of the chorus. I was like, oh, they're going to say the title. But they didn't. <laughs> so I don't know. There it is, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Good night and goodbye and good night.